Hi, I'm Chef Steve Tizzo with Martin Brothers. Welcome to another edition of Culinary Concepts. Today, we're going to be making a chicken wellington. So let's get started. There are variations out there when preparing chicken wellington. Today, we're going to make our own unique variation of a chicken wellington. And we're going to start out here. We have a nice boneless, skinless chicken breast that comes from Wayne Farms. It's a wonderful product, just a very little slight marination to it. Um, we are also going to be adding traditionally to Chicken Wellington, it's a mushroom duck cell. But we're going to put our own flair into this by adding some more onions in here, some peppers, red and green peppers, and cheese. And then that's going to be wrapped in a puff pastry sheet. So let's get started. The first step though to doing a chicken wellington is we're gonna sear the chicken. So let's get the pan on the stove, get it hot and ready to go. The key to the chicken wellington is you need to cook it about 80% done, almost fully cooked. So we're just gonna put a nice little seasoning here on our chicken while our pan's getting hot. Okay, now we got our pan nice and hot with our oil. We've got our chicken seasoned, so we're gonna get it on to sear. Now, as I always like to recommend, when you're going into hot oil, always lay the product away from you so you don't splatter any of the oil back onto yourself. So we got the chicken started. Just a touch of seasoning on both sides of the chicken and get a nice brown on top of that. And we're gonna have a quick sear on this and then we're gonna flip our chicken over. So let's see where we're at. Oh, see we're getting a nice golden brown on that. Just a touch of oil in there. We're gonna turn our flame down just a little bit and get ready to flip our chicken. Oh, nice color, nice color on that. Okay, so now we're gonna let that cook. We're just gonna let that one saute to do that. But as we're cooking the chicken also, we are gonna start cooking our vegetable. We do wanna cook our vegetable up. We're going to cook our mushrooms, our peppers, our onions all together. So let's go on a back burner with this and let's get a pan ready to go for our vegetables. So again, we're gonna get our pan hot, get a little oil in there. Now, as we see, we're getting some heat here on our pan. We're gonna get our veggies to go in here. And we're gonna to start to let those saute. Now again, I can't stress enough, season, season. I always try your food before it goes out. So we got some nice seasoning on there. Give us some nice flavor. Boom, finish. All right, so now we're getting a nice light saute on our peppers and onions. We're gonna go ahead and add our mushrooms in as well. Now, as you notice though, I did cut this a little bit small, okay? And the mushrooms are gonna cook down. Uh, because when we're wrapping that in our puff pastry, we don't want to rip the puff pastry apart. Okay, so let's get this mixing and sauteing. All right, so we're gonna let that saute down. Now we're at the stage that we're able to actually assemble the chicken wellington. As you see, we have our chicken, we have our, our mushroom and pepper and onion mix, and we also have our uh, cheese here that we're gonna be using in our puff pastry sheet. What I like to do is take a full sheet, quarter it, and you're also gonna do a little bit of egg wash in here. And the egg wash, of course, is gonna help that to stick together. It's gonna form it as a glue, but also to help it brown in the oven. Now here's what we're gonna do is actually build this somewhat backwards and we'll explain the difference there. So we're gonna go on with the cheese. We're gonna start with the cheese first. And then we're going to go on with our vegetable mixture. And that's gonna build right on top of the cheese. Now we're going to go with our chicken breast. Here's our fully cooked, ready to go chicken breast. And as you notice, I'm actually gonna put the top side down, okay? Because what we're doing is we're gonna actually flip this over. So we're building it from the bottom. So now we're at a point where we're gonna start bringing all our, our puff pastry together to seal this up. So this is gonna be sealed and then we're gonna bake this in the oven. So as we get it all wrapped up, ready to go. And then we're gonna do one more layer of egg wash on the bottom, just to hold this together. And that's also gonna help it brown in the oven. 
and I've gone on to a lightly greased sheet tray. So once we got onto the sheet tray, one more egg wash, just a light coating of egg wash all on the sides and the top. This is gonna come out to a nice golden brown. And what's gonna happen is this is baking in the oven. It's all gonna heat up. The cheese is gonna melt all down through the vegetables and it's gonna be a wonderful dish. So let's go ahead and go in the oven with this. We're gonna go in and I recommend about a 400 degree oven for the puff pastry. Now you will see as we have the final product out of the oven, we have the beautiful chicken wellington, a golden brown crispy puff pastry on the outside of the chicken. We have our vegetables, some fresh green beans and tomatoes, and I also have in the piping bag a red skin mashed potato. So let's start putting our plate together. Okay, let's start assembling the plate. First we're going to start off with some of our red skin mashed potatoes. Now I'm actually going to go across the plate and this is actually going to serve as a purpose to keep our gravy and our sauce from going into our vegetables. So now that we have that on there, we're going to build our plate with the potatoes. And then we're going to build with some of our vegetables just here on the side. We want to make sure we get some of those beautiful tomatoes in there. And some of your green beans and don't be afraid to, you know, put some of this up over the potato a little bit. And now we're gonna get to the best part, the chicken wellington. I've got just a little bit of a sauce here. You always wanna put sauce. Whenever it gets to a point of a puff pastry dish or a wellington, sauce should always go underneath. You never wanna cover this up. And a serrated knife, as you see the serrated knife, always the best to cut so you don't force to cut through the puff pastry because then you're just gonna mash it. So now we're getting to the point, let's hold it together and start to cut through. As you see, I'm letting the knife do the work as I'm just holding it together. Okay, now you'll see in here, and that's what I like to show, is when I actually put these on the plate, I like to always actually put the open side towards the guest. So they can actually, when it is first set down, at the table, they can see what is right inside that wonderful puff pastry dish. A little bit of chopped parsley on top is a nice little garnish, just to give the plate a little bit of color. And here you have a chicken wellington with uh, red skin mashed potatoes, some fresh green beans and tomatoes here at Martin Brothers. Thanks for watching this edition of Culinary Concepts at Martin Brothers. I'm Chef Steve Tizzy, and we'll see you next time. We hope you enjoyed our cooking tips, techniques, and recipes here at Martin Brothers. For any questions and additional recipes, visit martinsnet.com.